Hello everyone! Welcome to another Spring Craft. I'm Miss Lizzie here at the library and today we're going to do something really fun. We're going to make a little frog out of a toilet paper roll. Now you can do this craft a couple of different ways. Today I'm going to be using some construction paper. So I have some red construction paper for little tongues for him, green construction paper to cover the toilet roll and give him little feet and arms, and I have some just white paper to make some circle eyes. And then I have a black sharpie to color in the pupils, pencil for tracing, scissors for cutting, and hot glue to glue the things on. Of course, again, you can always use regular tacky glue or wet spool glue. You don't have to use hot glue. I recommend not using it, especially with little ones because it can be very dangerous. I'm using it for the sake of this video and being within time. Now I said you can do this craft a couple of different ways. So if you don't have any construction paper or colored paper, you could just color, have your little one color the white paper and make your frog, you can color it green or blue, purple, pink, whatever you want, and then that's what you can use to color your frog um, instead of just the green construction paper. Um, and that way you can give it lots of different fun designs. Or if you have paint, you could also paint the base of your frog, depending on what you want to do, depending on mess, depending on what materials you have or how much time you have. Obviously the paint will take time to dry. Um, so it's really up to you. And same with the eyes. If you have googly eyes, you could also use googly eyes. I love using googly eyes. Um, for this craft today though, I am going to use paper eyes and I'm going to make them nice and big. If you don't have a marker to color in, you could use black construction paper and glue that on. That's an extra step if you wanted to do that to practice more cutting with your little ones. Get those fine motor skills in, trace some circles, extra circles to cut out. I think that's a great idea, but for today I'm just going to use this black marker. So with that being said, let's go ahead and start. So I have a plain toilet paper roll here. Um, you could use a paper towel roll if you wanted to make him really big and tall, but I'm just going to use a toilet paper roll. And I'm going to put it along the paper to kind of see how tall it is for how much paper I need to wrap it around. So I'm going to start with the height and I'm just going to mark on the paper a little line so I know where it ends to cut it. I don't know if you can see right there. And I'm just going to cut a regular rectangle. I'm going to cut all the way down a piece of paper. I won't need this much but for right now just so I can cut off the extra and I'm just going to wrap around the toilet paper roll, see how much I need, and I don't need too much, so again, I'm wrapping it flat just like this, and then when it stops and I get to the end, I'm going to add a little bit of overlap just to make sure that none of the toilet paper roll sticks. I'm going to draw another line and cut off the extra. So now, as easy as that, we have a green toilet paper roll. So I'm going to glue one edge down first. I'm just going to take a line of hot glue. And of course, if you're using wet spool glue or tacky glue, you can do the same thing and then press it down. Now mine will dry a little bit quicker than wet glue. So this will be something that the little ones will have to be patient with, but not too bad. All right, so now I have one end stuck as we can see, and then I'm going to roll the rest, and then I'm going to now glue a line down this strip. Make sure it's even, nice and tight as well. Put a line of glue there, and then glue that down. And now we have a nice green toilet roll for our frog. There is a seam if you use the paper, of course. Um, if you wanted to and you wanted to have no overlap, you could get it really kind of perfectly up against the other seam. But again, there will still be a seam showing. I 
think that's okay. It'll just be the back of our frogs. But again, you can paint as an alternate if you wanted to do a nice painting activity to paint the frog green. So there's our frog base. So now I'm going to cut out some feet and little arms. The arms I'm going to make are going to be little loops, um, just because I think it looks really cute. And then you can kind of hold the frog through the little loops. So I'm just going to cut out with my extra little thin green strips of paper just along the length of this excess. Doesn't really have to be anything in particular. I'm going to make little circles just like that and again glue it and we're going to put those on the side so they kind of look like the bent arms of a frog sitting down. Now if you had an extra toilet paper roll you could cut the bottom and use that little ring and again you could paint it green or wrap more construction paper around it and use those or you could use the same toilet paper roll your frog will just be a little shorter which I also think is cute if you want to make a little family and do different size frogs that's a really cute idea um, but I think the scraps of paper is also just easy but again like if you're painting yours and you don't have green construction paper you can always do it that way all right, so I'm going to do the same thing I kind of did when I wrapped it. I'm just going to put a little glue dot there and connect the ends. So we have a little circle. I'm going to kind of fold the ends a little bit so they have a slight point so it makes more of an oval shape like that. And I'm going to do the same thing with my other piece. There we go. And like I said, these don't have to be perfect in size or perfectly even because we're just going to manipulate them and put them on the side of the frog, but it is a great thing to have your little ones for their fine motor to cut the little strips and try to cut straight lines. So it would be great also if you were to draw them on the paper um, and they could practice cutting or if they wanted to do both, they can practice the tracing or the drawing of the line and then cut it right out. And again, I'm going to take the same, I'm going to do the same thing and pinch the edges a little bit so it points into more of that oval, almost almond shape there. Great. So then I'm just going to put the, I'm going to glue them on the bottom here, just like that. I'm trying to make it so you can see. So it looks like his little legs are sitting there, his little feet. And I'm going to glue it down by the seam edge of the paper, so that way we don't see that line. Let's see where the back is, make sure. And there's one, and I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Make sure it's even. And there's the other one. So there's our little frog, our frog bent legs. So now I'm going to give him little feet. So I'm going to do that again with more scrap paper. I'm going to just draw it myself. You could have your little ones draw it. You could draw it yourself and they can work on just cutting it out if they're old enough to cut. Again, with those fine motor skills, it's great to try to get all the little grooves. Um, or if you really wanted to, you could look up a frog template. I'm sure there's um, a frog craft template online. Um, but again, I'm just going to freehand it. So I'm just going to do kind of the typical shape of like a webbed foot. Not very, you know, perfectly accurate in terms of what a real frog would look like, but you know, that's alright. It's just some fun. So I have two frog feet that I've drawn and now I'm going to cut them out. And you could always um, 
cut out the one and then to make sure that they're really, really nice and even, you could take your one and then put it on the paper and use that one as a guide to trace it. Or again, you could freehand both. So there's one of my little frog feet. You can see the little grooves I put on it. And then I'm going to cut out the other one. getting in there with the little grooves. Alright, so there are my little feet. So now, what I'm actually going to do, I think, let me see. Hmm. I think I'm going to glue the feet together first to make one piece. I'm going to make them slightly overlap like this. So they kind of fan out. So I'm going to put a little dot of glue on the back of the foot to attach it to the other one. Then we have kind of this fan shape like that. Just to make it a little bit easier when I glue it on. So now going to glue on from the back of that piece right in that front there. I'm gluing it right along the edge like that of because it is um, a toilet paper roll. You could put a base in here to make it more of a flat surface if you want the feet to go a little bit farther back. You could also put a piece of paper attach to the feet to make it go up inside so we can glue that way. I think this way also works though and is fine. So there's his little feet now. Very cute. So now I'm going to put some eyes on him. So I'm just going to again freehand two big circle eyes. These could be traced. Um, it's really up to you or your little one. So I'm just kind of drawing two big circles, if you can see, just so he looks really kind of cartoonish in that way. And I'm just going to cut it out. Now I have my two eyes, and I think it's actually kind of fun when they're a little misshapen. I think that looks really cute. I'm going to color in with a marker to make two smaller black circles on the inside. So he has pupils, just like this. Now, by no means do you have to use a permanent marker. In fact, I recommend you probably don't with your little ones, just because that is a permanent marker. Um, so a washable marker will, of course, work perfectly fine. All right. So they're my little frog guys now. And I'm going to glue them on. I'm actually going to make this pupil a little bit bigger. It's a little, looks small compared to the other one. Yeah, that looks better. All right. And now I'm going to glue the eyes on our frog. I'm going to glue them slightly up like this, not completely down here. You can do whatever you want of course. I think it looks really cute when they kind of come off of the frog. But if you want them down here I think that's also really cute. So I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on the bottom and I'm going to stick one right there and I'm going to do the same thing with the other one. Ta-da! 
with our little frog eyes. And last but not least, I'm actually going to draw a little smiley face on him. So I'm going to take my marker, I'm going to go right on the front and draw a little face and give him little smile lines. He looks really friendly, very cute, and you can just leave him like this. Or, I think I'm going to add a little bit of the tongue sticking out. I think that's really cute. So I'm going to take some red construction paper again. You can just use regular white paper and have your little one color in red or pink a little strip. I think that's perfectly fine. Or if you want to make this a paint activity, you can take a white piece of paper and paint a little strip. It's totally up to you. I'm just going to use red construction paper and again, just kind of cutting out a thin strip. It's about a few inches long, mine. And I'm going to roll the end a bit so it looks like his tongue snapping back inside. And I'm not going to glue it down. I'm just going to kind of leave it like that. You can because I think it looks cute, but you could glue it down if you wanted the complete spiral, but it does stay pretty well just from rolling it. And I'm going to glue it by folding the end up slightly. So I'm going to take a little bit of the end so it has kind of this end to be flat up against the frog. So I'm going to put glue on that end that flattened end and put it right where his mouth is. And now he has a little tongue sticking out. Let me see. If you <laughs> and that's it. I think this craft is really cute. Again, really simple. Not a lot of materials. Not a great cutting for fine motor. Um, again, you can decorate your frog however you want. You can make your frog lots of different colors, maybe add some polka dots, whatever you think. Um, it's really fun to do. You could even try to make him hop if you wanted to add a hopper that you kind of push and he jumps. I think that would be really fun too. Um, but there's, So there's a lot of different possibilities you can do, but this is kind of the basic outline and I think it's really, really fun and cute, especially if you make a little family with them. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial of this craft. Again, if you make it, please take a picture. I would love to see it. You can email them to me. I'll have my email in the description if you want to send me a photo. And hopefully I see it so I can print it out and put it up on our craft wall outside the children's room here. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope you enjoy this craft, and I hope to see you soon. I'll also link some books in the description if you want any fun frog books to read along with this craft. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.